name is Rebecca Rodriguez, and I am the head band director for Parkland High School. My name is Catherine Engel. I am a senior at Parkland High School. I play clarinet. It was hard knowing that my senior year basically got demolished because of the coronavirus. The very first assignment that she gave us for when we started our online schooling was this project for Amazing Grace. We're dealing with some historic times right now, and I wanted to make sure that we did some sort of piece of music that relates to the times. When it started coming along together, um, I'm not gonna lie, I got pretty emotional. I found myself getting teary-eyed. It was really beautiful. I could see all of these people I had bonded with over all these years and these people I loved. I started crying. Of course, it's not exactly the same as being in front of my kids, but I, it at least felt like I was still working with them. We still have connection. We're separate, we're apart. We're all in it together. I just wanted to bring light to that situation and, you know, just remind everyone that even though we're living through dark times right now, um, the light will come back. We all care. We all care, we love each other, and we want to do whatever we can to reach out to people who maybe are struggling right now, feel alone, and they need someone there. emotions so abstract it's not something that's easily put into words but music is more abstract and so it's a lot easier to be able to feel and touch people's hearts with music And I told Catherine she certainly touched our hearts with that performance. Catherine tells me she'll play on. She's headed to UTEP, where she'll major in music composition. And for those of you asking for an encore, the Parkland Band will also play on. Rodriguez says more projects are in the works, if for nothing else, to say thank you to this senior class. What that student had to say just about how it really just, the coronavirus demolished the senior year, you know, when kids get into kindergarten they're already thinking about what it's going to be like to walk across that stage and they already know what year they're going to graduate and little do they know what lies in store for them who could have predicted that their school year would end this way they were heading into spring break getting ready to, to prepare for UIL competitions and instead uh, ultimately found out and with YSD just announcing yesterday that they aren't going back to school it is official that they won't be going back in class this is it uh, for them, but they are going to find other ways to play together. And uh, it, it, it breaks my heart for these seniors that this is the way it has to happen, but they're keeping a, a positive spirit. And Doppler, I know you've got a, a, 